Hello world, I'm Angelot, and I'd like to show you a Chrome extension that I've been working on recently called Commander's Log. What it lets you do is take screenshots automatically of any domain that you specify. But actually, I use it mostly to keep track of my development by pointing it at localhost and giving it a port. So let me show you how I use it, and then you can also talk about um, how you might be able to contribute to it. So we've added the extension here. Uh, we click here, you can see we can add a new domain. We don't really want to track this here, so we won't do it there. I develop a tributary on localhost port 8888. So every time I change the code some, I refresh the browser, I check it out here. And what this extension does is it watches localhost 8888. It can wait some amount of milliseconds, so here's one second. Uh, tributary can be a little bit slow because of um, I'm loading from GISTs and haven't really optimized it that much, but so I'll wait two seconds to be safe. So while I'm developing, I usually, you know, refresh the page, see what happened, do I like it, do I not like it, and that's enough time for um, this to take the screenshots. If I click here, there won't be anything here because I haven't taken any screenshots yet, but if I just reload this page, wait a second, two really, right? refresh here, there we see the screenshot. And I can uh, open this image in a new tab. You see, this is what we saw over here. Now, you know, I might go here, do this. I might um, change this up a lot. You know, this is just kind of an example of, uh, but let me save here. And now the page is loaded again when we come back here, we should see our screenshots, right? So anytime you do anything on this domain, it will take the screenshots, you know, no matter what the rest of it is. And so that way, you know, as long as you're developing projects on a certain port, you can do it there. You can also watch um, any domain, right? So I can go to tributary.io, which is the .io, which is the hosted site, and I can add this, you know, let's also do two seconds there. Go there, there's nothing there. Um, let's try a different example, maybe. Let's see what happens here, it's a little slower because it's loading. Oh. Wonder what that screenshot, yeah, it captured this. So yeah, so now I, I also have leave it turned on for my production website so that I can, you know, just for the, the heck of it really to see see what goes on. Um, it's really nice for going through um, the history of what you've done. I can show a much longer thing I've been working on. Or here's you know tributary with uh, thousands of screenshots. Uh, we or hundreds, 700 here. Um, I haven't always had this plugin working and turned on, but we go back a little further. Uh, the changes in UI aren't that obvious, but it's pretty cool because I can also see the stuff I've been doing on Tributary and kind of take a trip through memory lane really easily with this. Uh, I'm looking forward to making time lapses as I develop new projects with the extension installed from the very beginning. And uh, I look forward to seeing other people make cool time lapses too. So if you want to uh, play with this, then you can just go to the GitHub page, check out the code, and um, install it through the Chrome extensions options here. Uh, I guess you have to go into developer mode, load an unpacked extension, navigate to the folder, select it, and then you can um, build from here. So. Now every time you refresh this page, it will reload the code um, that you're, you're playing with. So real quick, uh, now that you know how to use it, if you're interested in developing, stay tuned for just a few uh, more seconds as I go over what the files are. The main ones are pop-up, HTML, and JS. They control this pop-up. They you know, show these thumbnails, uh, control to add new flow, stuff like that. Then the other 
two or three big ones are the uh, gallery page. So that's of course when you you choose one of these. It renders all this UI, all the files, uh, reads the file system API to show these. And then there's the background JS, which is what actually uh, listens on the events and creates the uh, screenshots. So if you're interested in helping out, um, could always use more you know, UI polish, more editing and, and file management stuff here. And one of the main things I'm working on ne uh, next or trying to think about is how to get all these screenshots out since Chrome doesn't let you have direct access to the file system um, in or out of the browser. All right, so I hope this helps document your development efforts, and I look forward to seeing what people do with it. All right, peace.